I am inside India's 21st functional nuclear reactor, the Kudankulam nuclear plant. And I have with me Mr. K. Balaji, the man who has looked after this reactor like a little baby for the last 10 years. A big day for him. Mr. Balaji, what happened last night and did you celebrate the moment around 11 o'clock when it happened? No, we were very joyous when the reactor has become critical at 23.05 hours yesterday night actually there. It was a, almost, we can say, a copybook type of uh, criticality we achieved there. The criticality means it's a question of uh, sustaining a chain reaction, uh, I mean controllable chain reaction onto that. It's a, we're bringing to a very low power actually there. And with uh, monitoring uh, all systems which have to work as per the design intent. People, they all sir, work. You say the systems work well. Mm. People want to know, mm. did something go wrong? Was there an explosion? Was yeah. the radioactive release? Yeah. Is everything safe? Everything is absolutely safe. And we, are, we have taken the, the, the whole reactor, the startup of the reactor has been reviewed by many people and with various stages of clearance we got it. And then all there were a lot of people who were monitoring because it was the first approach, making the reactor operational functional the first time. It has been monitored, everything there and all these parameters, all the instruments, every system, every pump, Every safety system has worked as it designed, as it is intended to be operational. And See, nobody to need think about that there is an explosion. We, when we make a reactor functional, that is what we call the first functionality to criticality. It, it is not that it, is, it goes in an uncontrolled or anything like that. It is most controlled way. We can shut it down at any time when we feel that there is one parameter is changing or anything. Like that. That's how we, but we, we, there was nothing. We were just watching. It went on a textbook side. Whatever the design or the thing, the reactor should go it behaved perfectly well all the things the are reactor is right behind us yes, we are standing less than half a kilometer from the reactor yeah, that's right. is everything safe here absolutely. i do not worry about anything uh, absolutely safe absolutely safe it, it it's like a baby born it's a, you know the baby is going to grow into a big child and as a adult and he's going to the citizen of this country basically there and it will be taken care and he'll be the best citizen delivering the power to the country basically there is you know. and, and what next on our, we are buying many more reactors from overseas. There is a lot of program happening. There is Jaitapur. You are bringing more reactors here. Can you tell us what is your next steps? No, our next step is that we, we to commission unit number two, similar way we bring it there and generate about 2000 megawatts from this there and give it to the people of Tamil Nadu, Karnataka, Kerala and then Pondicherry from this plant and then bring in more capacity addition not only here and as well as a capacity addition in other parts of the sites which have been indicated into it with a high capacity reactor so, so you want to add four more 1000 megawatt reactors at this site is yes, that yes, correct uh, definitely 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 if we, all goes well, well all it goes well with all these things which we would like to there we increase the capacity of this site and give the entire country into including Tamil Nadu make a power surplus state actually. and and you are also planning to put some reactors in Jaitapur in Maharashtra what is the stage there? So it, it's in the it's in the I mean uh, conceptualization stage, and then it, it might take in soon actually. There and, and and also in Gujarat, where yeah, likelihood is, of Westinghouse reactors is there. What there, is the situation there? there no, it, it, it's on the project stage. These people are reviewing whether the project stage requires various stages of uh, approval, sanctions, etc. It's all in the process actually, basically. There was a feeling that the nuclear program in India was coming to a standstill. Mm -hmm. Kudun Kulam was a watershed moment. Mm. So are you very happy and relieved now that the nuclear program is not going to stay put and move ahead? No, it's a question of not a relief. See, there's a question of uh, we have to convince everyone saying that the nuclear plant is safe. And that's what we have uh, demonstrated. The plant is safe. We have safely commissioned it. We have safely made it critical. We'll be bringing it to power. The most safe there, basically. And it's definitely a, 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 I mean, a, a, a happy moment for us that we are we, we have been given an opportunity to, to serve the nation with through the generation of power, through, through a I mean a, a power which does not pollute, which is sustainable, which is the safest power for the country. So that was Dr. Mr. Balaji telling us that this is the safest, carbon-free, cleanest power. In the Indian nuclear energy program, coming up is a very big step. The fast breeder reactor is likely to be commissioned very soon at Kalpakam. In the same way as Kudankulam has been a watershed, 
that will be a bigger watershed for the Indian nuclear program. With camera person S.P. Babu inside the Kudunkulam nuclear plant, Pallav Bagla for NDTV.